First of all, for the invitation from the, for, for this session. Um, in, in fact, Susanna already took a lot of the context that I will need to present, so I will skip a lot of uh, small details. So, this session is basically the, the, the main objective was to present the, a different uh, what is going on in Aveiro in terms of future cities. My presentation will try to address one thing that was born recently with contacts from between me and Susanna. That was basically, we had a lot of things going on, but we wanted, I had some background on mobile computing, there are background on the infrastructure, so we wanted to try it out and see if smartphones, you can understand also tablets, iPads, whatsoever, were a good solution to connect citizens between themselves and the, the, the city. So, first of all, connected. We understand that using infrastructure. Our focus, as Susanna put it clear, is on vehicle networks because it's clearly a different, different resource that we don't have in some circumstances in comparison with Wi-Fi, 3G, 4G, and other technology. And look at phones and smartphones as a way of using true simple applications allow citizens to assess the resources. Which resources? First of all, there is a framework, okay? We had some solutions on how to do this, or at least something that is already working. We already heard some presentations talking about the, the potential of gathering information, a lot of potential applications, but in fact, there is a lack of, probably, of end user as a, as a direct end user of the system. So, our mission is probably, uh, um, it basically it's try to, in terms of the citizens, the, the mobility experience. So, say, let's use it, smartphones in the city when they are useful for the citizens, or at least have some value. So, I will resume our work in three lines. First, try to integrate smartphones in the, the vehicle networks in an easy way like installing an app and I'm able to connect to the vehicle network and use Vanet or other available res communication resource. Second, we are trying to use the smartphone in order to provide information to the city. So I'm going to, I'm, a, uh, I'm within a vehicle context, so I can try to, to feed the city with information from the car and from the driver. And in the end, one of the things that in a future cities, totally connected environment, is study some use cases, mainly try to explore the ubiquitous presence of persons within a city. Of course, although it's not, uh, we are not still addressing right away, but we, privacy is a, is a concern in the midst of this, because we have the potential of collecting and getting a lot of information, and we may, it, it's not clear where are the barriers between it's reasonable or not, the context and so on. So first thing, we have two mobiles or, uh, and people want to connect between, them, between each other. So we try to use Susanna's uh, solution that Susanna described and see how well we could do this. So we try to reinvent basically the concept of communication using vehicle networks through smartphones. We have simple app that's installed on a smartphone that is able to, asset, to use the, rec the resources of the vehicle network. So the next step was doing field tests. These are, and try to see in which way the vehicle network resources basically um, add influence or impact in terms of the usability or uh, the usage of smartphone applications. So first thing, Technically speaking, we did, did we have a good solution? Other thing, usability, although not very, evol uh, we are still evolving the test, but we try to see delays in messages. They are reasonable in terms of user, and then we are still struggling to see where the vehicle networks at, the, at this degree are useful. So we did some tests, basically, these are early results first, 
technically, we have a good integration. So there is a potential of putting smartphones seamlessly in a vehicle network environment. Of course, delays are bad for usability, but we still need to investigate more to see where they are usable because they are the only connectivity option, if, when, where they are reasonable, and try to see if it's worth the effort of at least at the current status to evolve to more interactive scenarios between people. This led us basically to try, OK, we have a, a good starting point, and we need to see we already have some options for, for connectivity between the car and the smartphone, the car and the network, and so on. We had to try to explore some use cases. So first of all, first of all we tried to see, OK, we have access to the car. Let's see if we can get information from car to the city, city to the driver, driver to the city. Technology speaking, we have the solutions, but we need to explore the, con the, um, the concept. So our using the same test bed, we have the driver. We are, this is still ongoing work, but basically we are trying to put these blocks as a Lego blocks, blocks to build more complex systems. And we are exploring the concept first to see if you can retrieve from the network, the, the environment, information to the driver, where people, known people are. It can be other resources, but in our case, we think on kind of social network context. Other, we have privileged information about the car. So our concern was, OK, modern cars have a lot of the data that is present on the onboard try to, to at least to look at very, the basic ones and also to translate it to the user which kind of connection he has. We are going to try to explore this in terms of quality of service. I can be connected to the city through the vehicle network or Wi-Fi, but the quality of service is different. So I, we need to evolve further to see, the, see which is the way to go. The other scenario is using the driver as a person. I'm in the car, I see, oh, there's a, the, the, there is a traffic jam, or there's an accident, or the, the, the lights are not working. Why not use it? Just point out, OK, just a button, it can be more specialized or not. Of course, not our user interface needs still a need, uh, design uh, on usability, but the concepts and the technical abilities are there. So this is exploring the role of all three roles, the, the car to the city, the driver to the city, and also get feedback on context from the city. From these experiences, one of the things that inspired the kind of, we are used to have a kind of unique ID when I'm, for instance, in Skype, I'm expecting using my nickname, which, wherever I am, being able to be recognized as my nickname. Why not do that in terms of the, the city-wide? Because, for instance, I could put Jack Smith or John Doe. I put José Silva, a Portuguese equivalent. So José Silva is here. OK, if it's connected, is it within the network? But for, assume that his nickname is José. So I want to be able to be José, regardless where I am now or where I was. This leads to some privacy issues, but we are still trying to, fit, to place all the blocks together. This allows us to do what? We are in a context. We are vehicle network. So we also can try to have context. I'm in a metro. I'm in a traffic jam. I'm in a bus or just going along Foch, uh, catching some sand. These kind of things are relevant because it, it can allow us to have a kind of ubiquitous presence. So I don't worry about if I'm vehicle network, I'm Wi-Fi and try to have a transparent access to the resource. Of course, the next step, for instance, and this is a scenario that we're trying to explore for this, is a kind of a notion of city hitchhikers. I mean, the city, I want to go something. It's not traditional car commuting that's pre-planned, but I'm logging into the vehicle network. OK, I'm Paulo, wherever I am. OK, I prom promise to write to someone where he is. OK, I can locate him. He's there. But Alex is his nickname. So I go and get him. Of course, n not every time I have a car, so I can do the father. OK, well, okay, find me a ride. 
I tell him, OK, I want to go to from ear to ear. And then the system, a service from the city, gives me a solution. These scenarios basically are scenarios where you have get the, the blocks to building the systems. Now we are trying to, to try to put, basically, first, trying to find a killer application in terms of the, something that is used for end users and not something that use, end users can use. That's a different thing in the context of the city. The other thing is exposing services. Some of these are more capped, but the services are there. We can retrieve data from, for, from the car. We can transmit data across. We have the, the, data, the data repositories of monitored data. So it's basically picking up these services, putting them to, to be used by smartphone applications, and basically putting on the, them on the field. One thing that I think some, uh, several people already stressed is doing this, it's clear that privacy and anonymization is something that is not just a detail. It's critical because we can fall in, in the Big Brother scenario in the end. So that's basically what I wanted to present, the context of smartphone applications in, the, in Aveiro. And this is a, basically a joint work of IETA and IT. So we are trying to merge the technical infrastructure side and the software mobile computing in order to provide something to the, to the end users. Okay.